Arson likely caused a massive weekend fire that has indefinitely closed a vital section of a freeway in Los Angeles, California Governor Gavin Newsom said that he did not say whether there were any suspects or persons of interest, the fire left the columns of Interstate 10 charred and chipped and the deck guardrails were twisted and blackened, crews shored up the most damaged section for the safety of workers clearing the debris. It's still unclear what structural damage, if any, the blaze caused to the freeway engineers were assessing the situation Monday. The freeway is used by 300,000 vehicles daily and the closure is expected to be felt well beyond the city, including possibly slowing the transport of goods from the twin ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, federal officials have said. The ports are among the nation's largest and handle more than half the goods coming into the U.S. Like I said before, things that we've seen before, things that we know to be true that people dislike Jews on this scale, but, um, you know, to see it on Tulane's canvas is definitely scary. What originally started as a pro-Palestinian peaceful protest ended up with Jewish blood being spilled on campus. They were saying things that were very violent and things that were so anti-Semitic calling for the final solution, Jewish genocide. And it's a lot harder to to have a civil conversation when emotions and tension are so high and so many people are so personally connected to this. I know a lot of my friends are nervous to wear their Star of David necklaces, um, to wear like a kippah, or to even come into this building, but I think that it's critical that we do not let fear consume us. Creating a space for people to be able to communicate respectfully um, is critical and on this campus it's really needed. If there's any group of people to not stand by um, and just let these mass atrocities happen, uh, it is the Jewish people. It, to condemn Hamas, it's a good thing. But in the same time, if you didn't condemn Israel for committing our crimes, this is a double standard. No one here uh, is here because they want to hurt Jewish people in New Orleans or Jewish people at Tulane uh, or even Jewish people in America generally. That's not why we're here. We're here because we want to stop the genocide.